Jakey, it's your first day tomorrow. There, are there a few nerves heading to training tomorrow morning? Yeah, there is. There's, uh, but I think just as you know, just as nervous I am, I'm excited as well. Just can't wait to finally start. It's been a long way for me, especially because I haven't played this year. So haven't done much team training anyway. So it'll be good to hopefully get out there if the doctor says I'm all clear to get out there and um, be with the boys. That's the main thing. I was actually caught up last to do, do my little talk in front of the boys, so the nerves sort of settled a bit, but it was, yeah, it was quite daunting, standing in front of everyone, getting in, introduced to everyone. Well, I got stitched up the first time. Uh, Charlie's like, oh, I'll go sit in number eight. I'm like, yeah, all right. I found out later that was Texas um, seat, so <laughs> that was a bit scary. Yeah, I think us three of us boys watched the, the main session, and just from eyes on the side, you can see the intensity is just yeah, ten times what it was and what we're used to at our local level, so that was the, the big key, the intensity. Uh, yeah, it was very tough. Um, I was very nervous that morning, so I didn't eat any breakfast, which probably wasn't a good decision because I died after the second drill. Um, but oh, it was a very good experience and I yeah, loved it. It was a big shock, uh, to tell you the truth. I thought um, the warm-up was the whole session. Um, Went out and did the warm up, and I, I actually thought we were jogging back inside to go in, but really everyone was saying good warm up, boys, and I, I was quite shocked at that. I was thinking, oh my god, it's it's only the start. We got to do, yeah, as you said, boxing, um, grappling, and then obviously the weights and all that. It's it's a massive step up from um, you know any standard. I didn't have to do any wrestling, um, luckily, because I probably would have got beaten up. But I had to do boxing with Jake Lever, and that was. Pretty interesting. Um, he's a very strong kid. Yeah, so we did a body balance class um, last Tuesday. It was um, beforehand. No, I haven't done any yoga. And I was legs were aching for the next three days, so I haven't been back yet. But I'm, I'll try to get there tomorrow. I think. Oh, I hit the downward dog. Um, that was quite tough, but good experience. Never really done anything like that before, but I'll probably go back there again. I was lucky enough to get a pretty good number, number six, so I was wrapped. Um, I, I wouldn't have really cared if it was 106. I, I would just, you know, want to wear a crow's jumper, and um, I was just wrapped to you know, get one first of all, but to be in the middle of uh, two pretty important plays at the Crows, Nathan Van Bill and Scott Thompson, it's uh, been really good and they're fantastic, like they're always asking me what I'm doing and um, how I'm going and all that and they've, they've been fantastic for, I guess, my welcoming and um, easing me into the club. Yeah, it's crazy, so I've been dreaming of this ever since I was a young boy, so to be on an AFL list and get a number is just, yeah, very crazy and surreal. To be handed Number 41 in the, the locker. I'm pretty sure I'm uh, opposite Tex Walker and a few big names, Dan Talia, so it's pretty pretty exciting to, to see their faces every day. Very humbling experience um, to get your name, see it in the locker when you walk in, see your name in the locker with your number. Uh, you can't think of anything better. It's a great experience and I'll, yeah, I'll remember it forever. 